It's the dead of night, and I'm in the remote Colombian Amazon, closing in on a river monster suspected of killing a young bride. I want to test a crazy idea that a stingray's spine can stay embedded, allowing the ray to impale its victim and then drag it to a watery death. So I've come prepared. Yeah, it's, it is a ray, it's definitely a ray. I recognize the dramatic markings. It's a deadly Matoro stingray. Matoros aren't giants, but this one's a perfect size for my experiment. Right, now it's one thing seeing that spine flailing around. I want to see what happens when it makes contact with something, with flesh. I've actually brought along a pig's leg. Very, very similar tissue to a human, so let's just see what happens to this. That went right in the whole length of the spine, and then it seemed to almost put its body weight behind it and really push it in. It went right up to the hilt of the spine. I'm surprised by this. I thought a strike would be more haphazard. The ray appears to line up on its target like a marksman, aiming above the point where the pressure is applied to its body before thrusting its spine deep into the tissue with every ounce of its power. As the tail retracts, more than a hundred backward-facing barbs tear through flesh like a hunting knife. After the strike, the ray's instinct is to flee. I repeat the test, and this time, something remarkable happens. That hasn't come out. That is still attached, that is still attached. It's the proof I was looking for. A ray's spine can stay embedded in its victim. There's obviously a certain random element here. If it goes in a certain place, it's going to come out. If it goes in another place, it's going to come out. Once in a while, though, it's going to get stuck on something, stuck on a bit of tissue, and it's not going to come out. My name is Jeremy Wade. It's going to jump, it's going to jump. For years, I've been tracking down dangerous fish. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. In some of the remotest places on Earth. What a fresh water monster this thing is. I've discovered that behind even the most outlandish tail, there is often a real creature. <laughs> now from a watery wilderness come stories of a frightening and almost unbelievable beast. You could see the coils of a giant serpent. It had the intention to eat him. But what is this sinister animal? And is it really attacking people? It's time to find the truth about Canada's mysterious lake monster. The young woman was wading into the shallows. I've no idea how radioactive it is and what risk it poses to me. 